Welcome back to another video. So today I'm here for another Eid makeup look or even an Indian wedding guest kind of look. I love going all out with these looks like it's just so fun. A lot of you did request a grey eye look which I did. It's very neutral um, and I paired it with a deep red lip but I just feel like if you change the lip and just keep the eyes and the skin I feel like this could go with any outfit that you're wearing. So um yeah, the eyes are just so complimentary, so beautiful, and I just love them so much. And I just felt like it went really well with this whole outfit and, you know, the whole look. The jewellery is from Amazon. I will link it in the info box. Um, everything is drugstore, so I'm so happy with that. But yeah, before I go on to the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. So today's post notification goes to Zara D. Thank you so much for your comment, hun. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and comment in the below. Come on, why do I always say that? Comment in the comments below when you have done so and yeah, you could be the next one. I'm going to stop blabbering now, guys, and we'll jump straight onto it. Alright guys, so I'm first going to start off with my brows. I'm going to use this Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the darkest shade. I actually really, really like this brow pencil because it has a little spoolie on the end. Please, please mind my ratchet nails when I show the products up close. I actually need to get them done, but I want to get them done with my sister because she's going on holiday. So I'm just waiting for her to be done with like all the stuff that she needs to do so that we can go together. I really want to get like a bright colour next time. And definitely not as long because I literally couldn't do anything. I couldn't edit, I couldn't um, type to reply to your comments. Like, it was just a nightmare. Like, just even everyday activities, I would just get so frustrated. The worst thing is, is picking a card up off the table and peeling off stuff to open them. Like, oh my god. So, I'm just fitting it in. So, update on my eyes. I did go to the opticians and. I definitely need glasses. Thing is, though, when I do my makeup, I'm gonna have to get contacts for sure. I really like it when it's really diffused in the center, so I really use that spoolie and brush the product through. Someone definitely sprayed something on my mirror. So the situations with my backdrop, like I really like them, but I need to get like a portable steamer because they are so hard to iron out. I do have a steamer upstairs, but it's like a big one. I need someone to hold it for me. Whilst if I had a portable one, I can just hang it up and then, you know, just do it myself without asking anyone. And also, please mind the way, you can't see my sari. I did improvise with a, like a crop top, but like my mum usually does it for me. My mum's not here, so I don't think you even see it. Like, it's just like a creamy one. Um, it's actually one that you just it's already done so you just have to wrap it around but like other ones where it's just a drape my mum usually does it because she knows how to do it properly I do prefer like lengas though like to, compared to saris because I just feel like saris is just too much whilst a lenga is just two peas and you've got you know it's just so much easier and I think they look so much prettier as well I'm now using some L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark So you guys know the drill, I'm going to use my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer to just clean up my brows. Look at that brow. I know I look a bit crazy right now. Now that my brows are done, I'm going to start off with my brows and I'm going to use the P. Louise Eye Base. I'm just mixing it with the rest of my concealer I had. So I'm going to do one eye first and then I'll do the other eye later. 
Okay, so once it's all tapped in and blended, you want to start taking your eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Flawless Full Palette. I wanted to use everything drugstore in this um, video, so that's what I'm doing. So the first shade I'm going to be using is... I just want cool tone colours. To be honest, I think I'm just going to start with this shade right here. Even though it's not that cool tone, I'm going to start with this one. Or maybe this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the second one. I'm going to press that. And I'm going to bring it in the, inner in the outer corner. And also like in the crease. Then take a clean brush and then start blending the edges out. They're going to go in with this brown right here with a smaller brush. So this brown is going right underneath that first transition colour that we put and I'm slowly making it blend into that first colour we used. And again I'm just taking a clean brush and making sure that everything is nicely blended and smooth. I want it to be rounded, like I don't want it to go out like that. So next I'm going to take some of this black right here with an even smaller brush. We're going to put that just in the outer corner and a little bit you can bring into the crease just to deepen it out but closer to the eyeball so not too high up just closer so you're like slowly creating like a little gradient and just be patient just swirl away you don't have to rush it you just have to be really patient when it comes to blending Spend a lot of time blending. And then you can take your brown brush that you used, the second one, just lightly diffuse this. Okay, so now we're going to take the base again. And I'm going to cut this crease. You don't need to do it all the way through, we're just doing it halfway. I'm going to take first some of this grey eyeshadow right here. We're just going to pat it. So then we're going to take this matte white shade and we're going to put that in the inner corner. Then you want to take your black shade brush again and slowly diffuse that into the grey. And then I'm taking that brown shade again. That cool dark cool tone brown that we took as a second transition shade. Just gonna use that and slightly deepen the crease. So as you can see, I'm just really playing around, touching up where I feel like there needs to be touching up. Again, I'm going in with the grey and tapping that in the center. Just to make sure that the grey doesn't disappear because we want to see the grey. Okay, so now I'm going to use some Crystal Eyes Glitter. Um, I don't know the shade but I will write it in the info box. And I'm going to use this with some lash glue and put this in the crease. So I'm going to use some liner. The liner that I'm going to use is this one from Poundland actually, it's actually really good. I'm 
So I'm just stopping at the tip. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm actually digging this eye look. It's definitely different. I don't work with like cool colours like this, but it's actually really pretty when you put when you put it all together. So now I'm gonna grab some lash glue and I'm gonna use these crystal eyes lashes. Um, these are in Liha. They're really pretty, and I feel like they would go really well with this eye look. For mascara today, I'm going to use the Double NYX Stacked Mascara, but without the base, just the mascara. Funky mascara like this. Okay, just let that dry. Make sure you get your your inner lashes so it don't blend with the um, lashes, falsies. Okay, now we're going to take the lashes, stick them on. Just clean up all the mess. So that's one eye done. Super fluffy lashes. So I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to move on to my face. I'm going to use my Honey Do Me Up Primer by NYX. It will focus. There you go. So I'm just gonna dollop this everywhere. This is super hydrating by the way. I really like this primer. And if you just like pat it in, like just work with it, like it really becomes tacky. For foundation today, I'm gonna be mixing two shades um, from the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Foundation. I, you guys know that I did a review on this and I could not find my shade, like, it was too dark, so I was sent a lighter one, so now I can mix the two. And you know that I'm not a big fan of mixing, but I really like this foundation, so I'm gonna do it today. Look at that. I feel like you really have to work with this like really quickly getting a little bit dry on my skin and for concealer I'm going to be using the Nip and Fab concealer in the shade 20 just patting this in with my beauty blender This concealer is actually not bad. I thought it was not going to be full enough coverage, but look at that. I haven't used it in ages. So I'm going very lightly around the shadow because I don't want no sharp line. I really wanted it to be like smoked out. Just doing the same thing on the other side. powder I'm going to use the makeup revolution banana powder just tapping this and baking a little bit set those small lines forehead basically wherever you get like really oily I am gonna grab my LA girl pro contour powder in tan and I'm going to use the bronzer shade I'm going to brush off all this excess powder. I never really seem to use blush like ever so I think I'm just going to grab a shade from the palette and I'm going to use this pinky shade right here. Who said we can't use eyeshadow as blush? Who said? Because I don't know who said that. And for highlight, I'm going to use my Kiko Glow Fusion Highlighter in number two. It's got stunning packaging and that's what it looks like. It's a beautiful gold. I 
I used to hate fan brushes but now I like just love them because they just place that highlight right on the tip of your cheekbone so it just makes it look sharp and more like prominent and it just puts it nicely on top of the brow I'm also going to top that off with the Nip and Fab liquid highlighter in rose gold what I like to do is just put a little bit of my hand and then take my beauty blender like a clean side of it and just put a little bit dab it on your beauty blender and literally just tap it on your highlight I feel like when you do this it just gives such a it gives like an effortless finish not like too harsh look at that for the under eye we're gonna go with that dark brown we used which is this one right here really soften it out I'm gonna go with the black shade from the palette and I'm gonna go really close to the lash line and really like smoke that out now for the really fun part, I got this NYX metallic eyeliner in silver. It looks like this, but the colour is just stunning, like it's super bright. I'm just going to put that on my waterline. Oh my goodness. This is waterproof by the way, so it won't come off. And don't forget to put some mascara on your lower lashes if you want to, you don't have to do this. So the lipstick I'm going to use is this deep red shade from Maybelline. This is the Colour Sensational Matte Lipstick. Primark Primer Water. This is like two pounds, literally. So affordable. This is gonna make everything melt together. Okay, so just to mattify the lipstick a bit more, I'm using this red shadow from the palette. Just gonna do that in the center because it's a bit lighter than the lipstick. I think I'm done, guys. Wish you could see the mess in front of me honestly when i film i just make such a big mess so for jewelry i'm going to use some jewelry that i got from amazon it's just like a beautiful silver one and i will link it in the info box all right guys so i've put on my jewelry this is the final look i actually really really love it and it's exactly what i had in mind like when i um a lot of you wanted a gray look and i feel like this look could go with anything just change it up you can change the lip with anything so I think I'm gonna say that I'm gonna call this an eyeshadow look that can go with any outfit I really feel like this eye look this makeup can go with anything and you just have to change the lip according to what you're wearing um, but I just feel like even with anything you're wearing this could go but let's say you're wearing something that's pink pink and green then you can do the eye look of it just like a pinkier lip do you know what I mean so because the eyes are so neutral um, you can literally wear it with anything but yeah, I think I'm going to go now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I do have one more coming. I cannot wait to do it, but I will see you in my next video. Bye!